Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa and I had a Neeson fundification with a hiatal hernia repair done almost six months ago at the end of December of 2018. I have several other videos regarding my experience from day one of surgery um, through uh, the weeks of recovery and how that all went. Um, if you're interested in those, please feel free to check them out. I'm just here to give a little bit of an update and answer a couple frequently asked questions. Um, I want to keep this short and sweet, so let's get into it. Um, the number one question I get most of the time is, can I throw up? Uh, I have not had to throw up at all. I haven't had food poisoning. I haven't had the flu. Um, I haven't had to experience that yet at all, and I hope not to. Um, I was prescribed anti-nausea medication by my doctor before I left the hospital uh, in case that occurs. Um, as for if that will unravel your uh, wrap, I don't believe so. Um, you just might not be able get to get the relief that you need uh, from throwing up. So you just might be miserable for a couple days if you do get food poisoning or that type of thing. Um, some people were worried about if they had overconsumed alcohol and they had to throw up. I honestly don't know. I won't drink to that excess, and I really don't recommend it. Um, that brings on other dangers of itself. Um, but I would just uh, avoid it if you can. Um, I did watch a YouTuber when I was uh, preparing for my surgery. He did have uh, the flu or food poisoning within the first year or two after his surgery. And he said that he couldn't throw up very much. It was just a small bit and he just was miserable for a couple days. So hope that answers that question. Um, another question I get very often is, can I burp? Um, not completely 100% on command. Um, I was the person that used to be able to burp my ABCs like that. And now not so much. Um, I can burp a little bit if I have like carbonated drinks or if I'm eating or if I chug a little water too fast. Um, my body will just naturally produce a burp and that works for me. Um, the next question is weight loss. Uh, I lost 20 pounds uh, from my surgery. The first two weeks you're mainly on a liquid diet. If you are worried about becoming underweight uh, from losing a couple pounds, I would talk to your doctor. I have heard people losing much less than that. I've heard of people not losing at all any weight. So um, it just might occur. That's all I can say on that. Um, can I sleep on my back? I can't. So I have not had any acid reflux since my procedure. In my opinion, I believe that my surgery has been a complete success. Um, I have had a little indigestion, uh, but that was because I ate some spicy food and that just kind of happens to happen. That can happen to anybody. That can happen to anyone that doesn't have acid reflux normally. Um, it just can occur. Um, you pop a couple Tums and you're fine or drink some Pepto-Bismol. Um, but for the most part, yes, I can sleep on my back. I like to sleep with two pillows anyways. I got used to it just from you know, having acid reflux for the past four years. Um, but if I wanted to, I have no issues there. Um, can I drink alcohol? Yes. If, if uh, carbonation isn't a problem with you, then you should be able to consume beer uh, or carbonated items such as sparkling water, soda, things like that. Um, I do keep carbonation to a minimum. It does cause bloating. Um, the first couple months are the most uncomfortable. I would say right about now, um, everything is actually pretty much normalizing for me. Um, I don't feel as bloated. I don't feel as gassy as I used to. First couple months, I won't lie, <laughs> you can be a little bit more flatulent, have flatulence a little bit more often um, than probably what is pleasant uh, or you are comfortable with. Um, but it is just part of the process of healing. Um, and so just know that carbonation causes more gas to be built up. Um, 
and go from there. Listen to your body, see how it feels. Um, and, and note that I did not try carbonation for at least a month or two um, after my recovery. Um, I stayed away from caffeine, carbonation, um, alcohol, spicy foods, all of that for at least four weeks before um, post-surgery. <clears throat> Uh, another question is, how long was I off of work? I took two weeks, personally. Um, I work at an office job. I was told not to lift anything over 10 pounds the first two, three weeks after surgery. Um, I was very blessed to be able to work from home my second week on my computer. Um, so I really, technically, time off. I took a week. But it was nice to have that flexibility. So uh, your energy is really limited and really low throughout the day. Um, so it was nice to be able to put in part-time work during the week and catch up on my stuff. Um, and take a nap in the afternoon if I needed to. Um, the other thing is uh, when I returned back to work um, week three, I you're pretty tired by the end of the day. I also noticed that was something I didn't anticipate was um, sitting up, you know, engaging your core. Because uh, for the first, like, two weeks, you're basically laying around. You're not engaging your core because you just had surgery on it. Um, my core was sore, uh, like I did an ab workout. Um, so that was interesting. Um, but that went away after about week three, end of week three, uh, end of week four. So that was fine. Um, I get a lot of questions about food. Uh, I don't have any restrictions. I can eat a burger. I can eat sushi. Um, my diet has really gone back to normal. I definitely have been eating a lot more um, whole ingredients and trying to heal my digestive system. Um, I did have grade 2 esophagitis uh, before surgery. Um, and I just want to uh, give my body the time it needs to really heal itself from the inside out. Um, I take a lot of probiotics, prebiotics. I drink kombucha. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, but I can eat tomatoes, no problem. Onions, mushrooms, cholula, sriracha, any of that. And I don't have any issues whatsoever. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to... Leave me a message down below or send me a message on Instagram. I'd be more than happy to talk to you guys. Just please know I am not a doctor. Um, I don't claim to be an expert on any of this. This is just my experience, um, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. I know there's not a ton of information out there, um, so I just want to share my experience with you guys because I hope it helps you guys feel a little bit more comfortable and confident um, in, in knowing what to ask and what to expect with this procedure. Um, if you want me to do more videos on uh, recipes for what I ate during recovery or how I found my doctor or any of that, please let me know. I'd be happy to make more videos. Um, if you can give me a like, that would be great. Um, and I hope to talk to you guys in the comments. Bye-bye.